So this is new a VN edition new update is here rolling out for the Redmi Note 9s and Redmi Note 9 Pro users. It's not a mini tool build so you need to keep this thing in your mind. It's only for the Cortana users. If you are a Redmi Note 9s or Redmi Note 9 Pro user, basically if you are a Cortana user, then you can install this build. And I'm not going to show you the installation process. This is China beta based, as you can see, 21.9.17. So all the features from the latest China beta are already present in this build. And what about this build? this build is quite good in the terms of performance in the terms of features this room is quite good if you want to install it you can it is based on android version 11 as expectedly with the latest september security patch is already included we're going to talk about this thing in this video so stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till then let's get started Okay, this is MIUI VN edition. So yes, the, all the advanced features are already present here, which means the updated launcher, new and updated launcher is here. As you can see, the new UI is present, widgets option in the terms of home screen settings. If you move on to these settings and check out the home screen layout, you can adjust from four by six up to maybe seven by something. Yes, seven by 17. So this is huge. And if you want to customize the device layout, the app layout, etc., this is a very good choice. You can customize the home screen layout. You can customize the arrange items in recents all the new features in your device already present here this is something quite good this is miui vn edition we are talking about here let's just move on to some other things for example in miui default launcher we already got these features it also comes with the new app store or basically widget store where if you move on to the app vault you see these widgets and you can add you can customize these widgets and if you don't know this is basically a miui 13 feature or maybe i'm not sure because miui 13 is not released but miui 13 leaks say that this would be included in the miui 13 so yes miui vn addition china beta based or maybe rebased on miui 13 or you can say it has the miui 13 features already available for you looks good enough if you are a user of miui if you are a lover of miui you will definitely love this in the terms of camera related things as it is a ported room so yes the camera was a big thing yes no worries camera is working perfectly fine you can check out these things if you move on to the more option in the gallery you can create pdf so yes updated gallery is already present this is quite good adjust set as wallpaper start slideshow even the google lens option is also present so yes things are quite good as expectedly things are quite good and if you want to install it i don't think so you might face any kind of issues let's just move on to other things in the terms of gallery related things here and what about this gallery the gallery has all the features available for you in the terms of gallery you just saw get photo mode portrait mode and more etc everything is same looks good in the terms of more you can say the new ui the new ui has the night mode 48 megapixel panorama etc yes no issues so yes camera as expectedly is working perfectly fine yes and the in the terms of customizations we'll talk about later on but in the terms of performance unexpectedly the performance seems to be very very good enough the cpu throttle as you can see no cpu thermal throttling detected this is something very very good i expected that but at once i didn't expect it that either because it's miui and still it's good enough as you can see miui no cpu thermal throttling detected maximum performance going to 152 this is very very good yes in the terms of customization section mode miui vn they've changed the name this it was previously at something else and now they changed it in the terms of customization section contacts desktop status bar control center etc as expectedly everything is here in the terms of customization section if you want to customize the contacts on calls etc buttons in one row show speaker phone and keypad etc the customizations are basically same like the previous one like here as you can see every customer customization is basically same they just change the layout and some things but everything else is just basically same color of call log which you can adjust in the terms of other customization options you get the desktop customizations where you can customize the power menu layout or basically the design of power menu theming of power menu in the previous update which i made a video for me at all build there was power menu issues you will not be able to use advanced power menu 3 to 8 or maybe other ones but here we might not have any kind of issues power menu 4 5 6 7 etc etc everything is working so yes looks good enough as you can see this is the power menu which we are using and some advanced power menu 
options are already included looks good enough and yes it has the theming so yes theming is there in the terms of other options as you can see we can customize the power menu etc it also has the MIUI 12.5 power menu already enabled for you which is not an advanced power menu by the way but it's there and like this other options are already present status bar etc customizations are basically same status bar has the same kind of options available for you you can customize the ios like status bar control center etc so these yes, things are basically same other options same now moving on to the control center section as expected the new control center is also there for example the new six tiles you can customize this option if you want to enable these six big tiles you can but if you don't want to you can disable it everything else is just kind of same for example you just saw this control center theming etc in the terms of features etc like other features like just compared to the, the just accept the MIUI mode features we also have the always on display and yes the always on display is working fine i'm not sure if you will able to if you will use this or not because i don't think so most of the users will use it as it has lcd display redmi note 9 pro has lcd display so i will not recommend you to use this but if you want to you can or you can use for 10 seconds it's up to you Everything else is same, always on display, you just saw it's already included, but in the terms of other features, features are same, no extra changes, everything else I've already shown you. These were the things I just want to let you know about this latest MIUI VN edition. If you want to install it, I'll write the steps there on my website, but just install the build, install Magisk and you'll be able to boot. Everything else is same. This was all from today's short and simple video. I hope you like this. If you like this, don't forget to like and share this video. And as always, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe me. And now I'll see you in the next video. And until then, goodbye. Have a nice day. Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through the air.